This is your tropical weather update for Friday afternoon, July 6th. We will begin in the eastern Pacific today because Tropical Storm Daniel is on the verge of becoming a hurricane and there is a second disturbance that is being given a 50% chance of classification within the next two days. The latest 2 p.m. Pacific Time stats on Tropical Storm Daniel indicate that maximum sustained winds are 70 miles per hour and the storm is moving off toward the west at 12 miles per hour. As you can see, the storm is still forecast to become a Category 1 before beginning to move into drier conditions and cooler sea surface temperatures. The latest visible satellite imagery of Tropical Storm Daniel shows that the tropical storm is fairly well defined. It has a very healthy equatorward outflow channel. It is a little bit more restricted toward the north, not so much because of vertical wind shear, but more so because of the dry air that is located north and west of the center. And you can also somewhat make that out by looking at this stratus deck, which is an indication that the atmosphere is a bit more stable up in that direction. And as you can see on the enhanced infrared, we do have a lot of convection surrounding the center, but we probably still need one or two more solid rounds of convective bursting for this storm to intensify into a Category 1 hurricane. It won't be long until it does begin to weaken. We're probably talking about within two to three days, as you can see that dry air very well here on the latest water vapor imagery. To the east, the tropical disturbance to the south of Mexico may be gaining a little bit more attention simply because of the fact that it's a little bit closer to land and compared to 24 hours ago we are seeing increasing low level banding so this low pressure area is on its way to becoming a tropical depression. Convection is lacking at the moment and somewhat disorganized but overall conditions do appear favorable on water vapor for at least slow development into a tropical depression or tropical storm within the next two to four days. The latest low to mid-level steering analysis shows that Tropical Storm Daniel is becoming captured by a ridge centered over the Central Pacific and that is going to allow Daniel to continue moving westward into hostile conditions. Whereas the developing Tropical Storm, or soon to be Amelia, more toward Mexico, would seem to have more of a chance of recurving more toward the north based on the current steering pattern but there is good news for Mexico as it does look like the ridge that has been plaguing much of the central and eastern United States with record setting temperatures will begin to retrograde back toward the west and there is unanimous model agreement with that solution so there is no risk of either one of these tropical cyclones directly impacting Mexico. As we switch our focus to the Atlantic Basin, we can see that much of the Gulf Coast is being plagued by daily shower and thunderstorm activity, but this is not really tropical in nature, so we're not worried about any development from that convection. And across the rest of the basin, there isn't too much to talk about, although there is a tropical wave spreading over Cuba and Jamaica, and some of this convection is being enhanced by an upper-level trough. You can see this even better on the water vapor. You can see there is a very weak mid to upper level low situated over the Bahamas and this troughing extends well into the Western Caribbean. So conditions are not favorable for any tropical development at this time. The latest seven day forecast from the GFS model keeps all of the tropical action across the Eastern Pacific and away from land. So we are looking fairly good in the tropics for the next seven days. Finally, it looks as though much of the Atlantic Basin will have below average prospects for tropical development through at least July 15th through July 20th, and this idea is supported by the sinking air aloft, and this is also being confirmed by some of the 200 millibar upward motion anomalies, and some of these colors here represent sinking air, but as we go in toward the middle and latter half of July, especially beyond July 20th, it looks as though we could begin to see some favorable upper level ridging and perhaps a little bit more moisture across the Atlantic Basin. This is not a guarantee for more tropical development, but the odds of it could begin to increase once again toward that time. So that sums up what is occurring in the tropics on this Friday. Check back sometime tomorrow for another tropical weather video update.